uh, welcome back. So, what we will discuss in this uh, small snippet is some other miscellaneous items regarding Moodle. So, what I will do is again get back to my Moodle site and you can see what is happening. So, this is the thermodynamics course and you see that some things here if you see how these things here are arranged that will look different from my other courses. So, for example, if I, I needed to go to my home not everyone else's courses and if I click on something else you will see that the blocks which I mentioned are actually different here. You can have different blocks here. So, what you really can do is actually change the theme of the page. So, there are many themes available and you can actually go and change the theme, but what you can do is actually add blocks that you want. So, for if you want to do any changes of course, you need to turn editing on okay. and once you turn editing on you see that you start getting more options and one of them is add a block. So, for example, I can add a calendar okay, and uh, that will ensure that a calendar gets added and this is what has happened. Now, if I come to any block after turning editing on you will see I can do many things. If I bring the cursor here you can see it says I can move it or I can take other actions and I can do what is called as docking that means, if I click it, it actually goes here and does not appear here only if I come here it will show me what is happening. So, I can click it and say undock and it will come back onto the screen, but I can just dock everyone here and dock everyone on this side. So, this entire page is now available to and everyone else is docked here. So, I can actually undock all of these now and it will go back to its original place. and uh, I can actually move things around. For example, I can take this and say I, I would prefer it to be on the right side. So, I managed to move the administration and the calendar on the right side here. So, I can move around anything that I would like and change the appearance here. As I told you in the previous um, edition that you can change sections, uh, the middle sections to week format or the topic format. You can add many kinds of resources. For example, you, if you go to the resources, you will see that you can add URLs, you can add web pages, you can add video content. And apart from making the page look like a week format or a topic format, you can actually make it look like some kind of a social media page like a Facebook page. And uh, there are a vast amount of videos out there which will tell you what you can do. I mean the many resources are available to you know make the page as interactive as possible and give as much information as possible. So, for example, you can provide a link to a video which is outside and as long as as it is open source it is available there. You can have good pictures and make it far more attractive rather than the bland uh, week wise sections that we have here. So, you can make many changes here. If you go to YouTube, you will see a reasonable amount of videos telling you exactly what to do, people telling you how they are using Moodle to enhance learning. Uh, you can go to the original demo.moodle.net to actually see you know documentation on Moodles. You can have dummy Moodle sites which you can play around with, you can create your own courses. And so, this gives you a lot of options to you know play around with Moodle and you know figure out what is the best way to you know communicate with students. So, it was not just now you realize it is not just about offline communication outside class, but you can make it so much more interactive with chat sessions, with videos, with pictures and you know extra information and hopefully you know students would realize that this is a very good learning platform and as much data or as much information as possible can be uploaded on this site so that it is very useful to students. So, I hope with these set of lectures you have actually got a small gist of what Moodle can do and you could use it to the fullest extent to communicate with your students. Thank you very much.